hi guys welcome to another video today i am making some easy vegetable um how should i say some vegetable pancakes yeah something like that so i went to the supermarket and i got me a round <laughs> um cabbage you know they also have the pointed one but i got the round one so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this cabbage in in half. I find the knife. Okay, find the knife. And then I am now I guess let me change the handle. Excuse my dirty kitchen, but the machine is currently full. So we have to clean up the dishwasher before we can add more into it. Yeah, so, okay, I am now going to cut the cabbage in half. And in my blender here, let me show you the blender. Here in my blender, I have a little bit of water. So I am going to put it inside and let it blend. Then I will add flour to it so that I will show you later. But the cabbage will come into the blender with some garlic, some salt. Some black pepper and then later because I'm going out when I come back I will add the egg to it and then also the flour and show you how I bake it or how I fry it take out this this uh, oh what you call it again the stem the stem is very hard in the cabbage so you have to remove it okay let me wash it off So first with the half and then we'll see um, if more is needed. Put it on top. It's not moving. I hate when it's not moving. just good for nothing nothing happened nothing well I guess I have to do it with my hand <laughs> okay then I will do it 
with my hand. Get a bowl, put it into and the smaller you cut them, the better because then it will cook through easily and quickly. faster than the blender. would have done so nicely but maybe next time with my other food uh, food processor i will do it properly or maybe it would work with that bit <laughs> let's try again with that bit But I will just do this with my hands now. That was faster. You can also let the cabbage steam a bit if you like. Cabbage really goes fast to cook. So if you cut these up fine, you will also achieve it. It will cook still. So, as far as I can see, the half a cabbage is perfect. <clears throat>
I'm just looking at the Kensuka. Now I have here the garlic. And we need some black pepper. I'm going to use not all the garlic. <laughs> Need to dry it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, all rugging at the bathroom for that. That's how it finished pretty quick. All yes. rugging at the bathroom. Green. Mm -hmm. Green, maybe by the foot foot bath. Okay. Now the foot bath. So I am going to put these with the blended cabbage. with the garlic over the cut cabbage. Get some more water. And we don't need too much water because we are also going to use egg and um 
going to use flour to hold everything in place. Okay, that's the first part. Now I'm going to add some black pepper to that and paprika. Black pepper. pepper. Okay, if you don't have black pepper, you can also use cayenne pepper. I'm using the paprika and the cayenne pepper. get something longer to paprika later I will add salt and the egg and the flour to it but for now, that's the first step. So they may take only the half. <laughs> so they may only bring out the half of it. here but I buy them to use in my kitchen keep flies away so if that's a good idea you can also use it <laughs> okay yeah so now let me just show you yeah. that's the how it looks okay we'll cover it back again and then we we'll leave it Okay, until later. Doing um, three eggs. I put it in the microwave for a few minutes because um, the some of the cabbage were too thick. Now I'm going to add the flour. Just a bit to combine everything. But I definitely need a bigger spoon. So 
so actually what you could do you could also make a pancake batter and just add the raw cabbage or cooked cabbage to the butter this way I think it's also fast so I would add a little bit more flour to it and then salt just a bit Now the pot is hot so I can add the oil. And now let me mix again. <laughs> I have to cook quick, everybody's hungry. <laughs> Into the whole pan because we are so hungry. We don't want to take too long with the food. So I'm going to put a little bit more oil here. My stove is lean. And so the oil keeps going only in one direction. And now we are going to let this fry until it is um, stirred up. We have another one left. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's finished. A big one. And here I have another small one. I am doing this because I add cumin to it. I want you to know how it tastes. So I'm going to serve it. on the lettuce leaf and then we're going to put some cheese on it and you're good to go so that's what I do yeah and so I will proceed with the other plate as well Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you feel like you can subscribe and you can share the recipe with your friends and families as well. So hope to see you next time. Have a good start in the weekend. Bye.